in the sheep CRC. We really wanted to develop the products produced by the sheep industry so they aligned with what the consumer really wanted. And the consumer really wanted delicious healthy meat, wool that had next to skin comfort guaranteed, and they wanted us to look after the sheep. And once we'd established those goals, we started to get alignment with all the industry groups, the researchers, the funding groups that would be putting money alongside the Commonwealth to create a program which really had collaboration, shared ambitions right from the beginning. In industry there are a lot of hard problems and if you can get science involved you shorten the time frame for everybody else because on farm everybody tries to solve problems. So the work of the Sheep CRC, the knowledge from that has enabled us to change our enterprise in a relatively short space of time successfully. The three CRCs that we've had, each one had its own focus. Each one was a contained program where we had defined goals in achieving this transformation that we have over that 19 year period. So the undergraduate teaching that we developed during CRC1 and the postgraduate program that went right the way through the CRC program will leave the industry in very good shape to continue that momentum for many, many years. Before the Sheep CRC developed these education programs, the industry was on a decline with an ageing population running the industry. But with new young people coming into the industry that are innovative and excited by the technologies available, we can continue to grow, building more capacity within the industry. People are our most important resource and I see it as this wonderful piece of succession planning. So what the Sheep CRC has done is take people from individual contributors and researchers through, in many cases, to, to industry leaders. It takes something like a CRC to have the focus of developing that human capital. So that wave of graduates coming out of the Sheep CRC will be having an impact for the next 30 or 40 years in that industry. One of the key aspects of the CRC program design is that you have to have a legacy arrangement. You have to know what happens when the CRC funding finishes. Because with that level of investment, you need to ensure that that momentum, the innovation that's developed with the CRC program funding continues long after to cement in the permanent benefits that you've created for the industry. A lot of the time the industry doesn't have deep enough pockets to have big enough projects to work on these really big problems like genomics, like eating quality. Getting that sorted is too big for one company. Continued funding of CRCs is pivotal to give people that really good grounding, the really great networks, the really great learnings that they can get from that, that they can take with them into their working lives. Those networks are fundamental. The consumer is our market, and without a consumer, we don't have an enterprise. What the Sheep CRC have done is they have given us a surety and credibility so be it meat or be it wool, the consumer can be certain that they are getting the same quality time and time again. CRC is all about transformation. It's about changing an industry. And we've seen over the last 19 years an industry change from one that focused on wool with mutton as a byproduct to one which now focuses on high quality lamb and super fine wool as equal partners. This momentum will continue because it's such a robust, it's such a complementary production system. In agriculture particularly, we don't get simple problems. We have integrated problems and we need integrated solutions. So to assemble a team to tackle really difficult issues, to deliver really important answers, takes time, takes resources, and it's only the CRC program currently that is designed to deliver that sort of structured approach to solving these very significant industry problems and opportunities.